Hello, my very most beautiful Scorpios. How is everyone? I hope you guys are all doing amazing. So my lovelies, we are going to be doing your April mid-monthly reading. Now this is a general reading, so it may not be able to resonate for all of you. And if you guys want something that is meant for your exact energy, then I do have personals open. And everything that you'll need to know, whether it's about this reading or about scheduling your personals, all of that is going to be in the description box below for you. So Archangels, Spirit Guides, and Ancestors, please deliver clear messages with a very clear understanding for my very most beautiful Scorpios. Please may the messages that need to be heard the very most please come through. And may they please find those who need to hear it. Please show me Scorpio's energy. A very clear message with a very clear understanding. All right, my lovelies, let's take a look and see what we've got going on for you. All right, we're going to need to take a look at this. What is going on here, Scorpio? All right, so let's take a look. I definitely feel like there is a major disconnect between you and now this could be a divine counterpart or somebody that you felt was a divine counterpart. Okay, I definitely feel like there is a... Um, a major disconnect here between the two of you. you got the Queen of Wands in the reverse. You also have the King of Wands in the reverse. Um, so they are divine counterparts, but they're both coming up in the reverse. So I, I feel like there's something going on here. Now, I almost want to say that I do feel, um, I don't know how to put this. I do feel like there's something that you guys have been holding on to, okay? And I feel like that is kind of what is getting in the way of this divine counterpart. I, I honestly don't feel, Scorpio, that this is somebody that you've met yet. I know that sounds weird, like how can we be having a disconnect with a divine counterpart if I haven't even met them yet, right? But I do feel like it's because there's something here that you guys have been holding on to that you know is not for you. When you're really honest with yourself. Um, you know that it's not for you, but there's there's a reason. There's something that you've been holding on to. And whether it's because of the amount of love that you have for this person or because of everything that you've been through with this person um, or even because of some codependent stuff, whatever it is, um, you've been holding on to it. Whether you're with them currently or in separation, you know who I'm talking about, Scorpio. Um, I do feel like you guys are being called to make a decision to to finally release what you already know that you this is what um, is meant for you. Okay, you already know that this person is not, but you've been holding on anyways, even though your head and your heart are perfect in a perfect alignment. Um, so when you're really honest with your head and your heart, you know that they're not for you, but that doesn't make you want it any less, you know? Um, we have the page of cups in the reverse to a sword. So the decision to allow something to slip away, the decision to finally let go and give up on it, um, you know, that's kind of what the universe is waiting on. And that's why there's a disconnect here. That's why this is, this is showing up in the advice. You know, it can't come in. You can't, you're not taking action towards it. You're not getting in an alignment with it um, because you're still holding on to something here. So let's get into this. In the recent past, we have the Queen of Wands in the reverse. So not feeling very confident, not putting yourself out there. And, just, and then some of that is because you guys are hung up on a past person, even if you're in separation, even if you're single. Um, you know, you guys aren't really putting yourself out there. You're not really taking action. You're not really open to anything new. Um, and you're, some of this past connection could have been very traumatic for you. And it really could have shaken your confidence, the way that you view yourself, the way that you view love. Um, I, I, I just, that, I'm really feeling that here with that Queen of Wands in the reverse. So tell me about this Queen of Wands in the reverse. Why is that here in the recent past? The Ace of Wands. Yeah, you're blocking yourself from any new opportunities because of that. You know, that's something that yeah, I feel like this is an energy that you have been in. That's why it's showing up in the recent past is because Spirit wanted to um, 
you know, spirit wanted to let me know that you guys, this is something that you guys have been dealing with. Okay, this is something, this is an energy that you have been in. So some of you guys could have been holding on to this and dealing with this for quite some time. And it's really just affected your confidence and affected the way that you feel about yourself. And the way that you feel about love moving forward, it's really keeping you from putting yourself out there, from being even happy, from expressing joy even. Now, in your current energy, we have the star card in the reverse. Um, so feeling very down, feeling very out of balance, feeling very disconnected, feeling very hopeless. Um, your challenge, my love. And some of you guys are feeling like you can't have the things that you want, okay? Um, that you can't achieve them, even though you do want to. Six of Wands. You could be feeling very hopeless about it. Um, you're, you know, you're, you are moving towards a shift. There is a shift coming in for you, okay? Because you are going from not feeling good about yourself, having no confidence, to what you're working towards is feeling uplifted, feeling good about yourself, having confidence, being successful, um, having the things that you want. But your challenge is the page of wands, which is a new beginning. You know, he's about to step off on a new beginning, go on an adventure. Um, you know, it's having that interest, taking that first step, just putting yourself out there, having that openness. The bottom, this is what you really want, Ace of Cups. That deep love, that, you know, um, unconditional love, that deep, very spiritual connection. Some of you guys have been holding on to wanting it with a specific person that deep down you know is not for you. Um, there is something trying to come in for you, my loves. But let's take a look at some of this. Tell me about the star card in the reverse. Why is that here? The Eight of Wands. So there could be something here with like, you could be out of communication with this person. Okay. And that could be, you know, what is causing you to feel very hopeless. Um, or it's just not positive communication. It could be something where, you know, you guys are arguing a lot or the way that you guys are communicating, you know, just isn't healthy in some way. Tell me about this page of wands and why is that here as the challenge? Why is that Scorpio's challenge? The king of pentacles. Some of you guys, it's because of what you invested. Some of you guys have invested so much into this person. And you thought you thought this was the person that you were going to spend your life with. Um, so it's not just the person that you're letting go of, but it's that dream. It's that vision. It's it's all of that. Okay, and that's what's keeping you from that first step. Some of you guys are really focused on your money at this time, on your career, on your goals, on your home, that kind of a thing. And I feel like that's just more of a distraction. It's, it's kind of how you're handling all of that energy is just kind of by pouring it into other things. And I do feel like you guys are going to find a lot of success in that. I mean, when it comes to your business, when it comes to your work, you guys are going to be finding a lot of success. You have two sixes here. So that is something about, you know, giving compassion. That is about love. That is about overcoming obstacles um, and transitions, major transitions. You guys are about to experience a major transition. Um, you guys are going to be able to move past um, everything that you've been holding on to. I do feel like there's a blessing coming in from the universe. I don't know what the form that looks like, but sometimes the Six of Cups to me can be gifts from the universe as well. And I feel like you guys are, like I said, you guys are achieving some success in some of the ways that you have been putting your work, your energy into. Ace of Cups, you know, that is what's driving you. That is what you guys truly want. That is what you feel like is missing now. I feel like you've wanted it with this person, but Spirit's telling you it's time to make that decision. It's time to take that hard action. Um... Because yes, it's gonna be it's gonna be difficult for you to um, walk away from somebody that you have a history with, or that you've wanted for a long time, or that you've loved for a long time. Um, you know that is going to be difficult, but you it's like you already know. You already know that's what you need to do is to let them go. Okay, whether you're with them, whether you're in separation, the the, the need to let them go is still there um, to make space for what is truly meant for you. And I see, I do feel like you guys are going to be doing that because in the immediate future, we got the Queen of Cups. So that is a little bit of an emotional situation. And it is also just really, she's really focused on that cup. She's really missing somebody. She's really focusing on how she feels about it. Really, really just missing. Okay. It's like, it's almost like a longing energy and feeling kind of stuck in that. So yeah, it's going to be difficult. Okay. But it's something that you guys need to go through. We have the King of Wands in the reverse. So there's something trying to come in. This is your advice, but you have not been taking any action. You have not even had the interest or the drive to take the action, um, because of this situation. The Knight of Pentacles. So something has been trying to come in, but it's coming in very slowly because, you know, you haven't created space for it. Um, but it's time to come up with a plan. It's time to take that first step. There's something that has a ton of potential. This is showing up as a divine counterpart. 
um, and it gets even better. So you have the three of wands in the reverse for the person that you're dealing with. Um, I just feel like it's just saying that they, you know, they're keeping a lot to themselves, um, as well as I do feel that um, there's just a lack of hope in the situation um, when it comes to them. The six of pentacles. There's something about it that isn't mutual. Okay, um, you don't. They don't give what they need to give. Um, you know, you don't get what you need to get out of the connection. There is going to be a tower moment in the next few months. I do feel like this is you, uh, you know, this coming to an end. The thing with the tower moment is, Scorpio, is if when we already know that we need to do something and we don't do it, uh, it's like the universe will give us sign and sign and feeling and chance and chance to do it. But if we don't do it, the universe will come in and lay the smack down. The universe will come in and do it for us. Um, you know, the towers come to align us on our path. So I have this feeling, my loves, that if you do not you know, um, end up walking away from this, there's going to be in a tower moment coming. Um, it's a sudden and abrupt change, but it writes you on the path that you need to be on. But you already know what you need to do. This is your energy. So I do feel like this is going to be you stepping back into a position of power because you need to make a decision here. Okay. You need to make a decision. And if you don't, the tower is going to come and it is going to happen. Um, but your outcome is the sun card. Feeling free and feeling unburdened, feeling enlightened, feeling happy. Okay, happiness. Woo! Okay, we're not gonna take all those, that's too many. Tell me about the sun card. Tell me about the sun card. Five of Swords. So where you've been conflicted, you're gonna have clarity. Um, you've been so back and forth, so conflicted. Um, and you've been dealing with so much with this person, um, with the situation. This baby is naked. And the thing with a naked baby is it is symbolic of being free, of being unburdened. Um, and I do. I feel like you're going to be surprised at how happy and relieved you feel once the decision has been made. Um, now, I'm not saying you're not going to miss this person. I'm not saying it's not going to be difficult. We can see that it is. Um, but you're going to gain a new perspective. You're going to gain some clarity. You're going to do what is best for you and for this person because you guys, you know, are both going to experience a tower moment otherwise. So I feel like that's coming in as a little bit of a warning, Scorpio, that, you know, the decision does need to get made. And if you don't make it, the universe is going to step in. Um, but either way, whether you, whether you make it or the universe does, um, your, you know, your outcome is happiness, being unburdened, having that weight lifted. And I do feel like it will allow you know, whoever's meant to come in to come in. So that is what I'm seeing for you guys. Now, if this resonates, please let me know in the comments down below. And if it doesn't, check out your other placements. Everything that you need to know, whether it's about this reading or about scheduling your personals, all of that is going to be in the description box below for you. So if you like the way that I read, please like, share, and subscribe. And most importantly, guys, if you want personal prayers for any reason at all, just go ahead and put the little prayer emoji in the comments down below. And I will go through and pray for you. So I am sending so much love and light until next time.